So today I'm talking about a P0037 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0037 code? Well, it's an HO2S heater control circuit low, bank one, sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio going into the engine. And then the second thing they do is they have heater elements inside of there. And these do a few things to help the whole system go into what is called a closed loop quicker. And V6 and V8 engines, they have two banks. Bank one is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that'll be bank one. And then the opposite of that is bank two. And then sensor two is just the second sensor going down on that side. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate bank one, sensor two, oxygen sensor, and there can be some differences. It's really gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the vehicle, the engine type, the year, things like this. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram where the oxygen sensors are located since it just makes things easier. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank one, sensor two is right here and it's located after the catalytic converter. And the basics of what's going on with these sensors is that sensor one is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located before the catalytic converter and sensor two is going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located after the catalytic converter but the first thing you want to do is you want to go locate this bank one sensor two oxygen sensor on your particular vehicle once you locate it the next thing to do is check out the wiring real good be sure that there's no opens cuts or anything like this and basically just be aware that if anything's wrong with the wiring, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Also keep in mind that these are on a fuse. It's usually located inside the engine compartment. And if the fuses blow, then it can cause issues. So it's always a good idea to check for blown fuses. For example, this is a 2005 Toyota Tacoma. And as you can see right here, it says AF heater. That would be the fuse for this. This one also has a relay that if something went bad, it, would, it can cause an issue. These can be labeled a little bit vague sometimes, but there's usually a fuse inside the engine compartment that these are on. And so if you check all that, you checked out the wiring, you checked out the fuses, that all looks good. Then at this point, very likely that sensor has failed. You can't test it if you want to. And the heater part of the sensor is fairly easy to test. If you have a multimeter, you basically just find the same two colored wires like this one, these two white wires, that would be for the heater circuit. These mismatch gray and black wires would be for the oxygen sensor. And you just measure resistance to see if it's burnt out or not. It's like a light bulb. If it burns out, it's not any good. But if it does show resistance, then it's usually good. You can look up the spec sheet for the rated resistance of these. I made a video on how you could test these if you wanted to. I'll put a link inside of the description below. But very likely at this point, if you tested out the fuses and that all looks good, you checked out the wiring and that all looks good, then very likely that sensor just burnt out and just needs to be replaced. One thing to keep in mind with some of these sensors is that sometimes you need a special tool to get around that wire and to screw them back in. Not all the time. Sometimes you can get on them without that special tool, but it's always a good idea to go and look and make sure because sometimes it can be recessed into the exhaust and you need the special tool to get around that wire and to screw them back in. I'll put a link to this special tool below if you need to see what I'm talking about. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to do a real quick video on how you go about fixing a P0037 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.